strange thing that is. But how Colorado, you know, it's good to see it survive. They'll come together and get it back. Yeah. All right, Chris, so tell us what's going on now. All right. Well, let's take a look outside, Alan, up in the high country. You can see some showers trying to pop over the mountains. We have a few very light snow showers up that way. This is partly northwest flow in the atmosphere. We'll talk about that here in just a second. But also a little bit of moisture still uh, getting caught up in that flow. We have 40s on the eastern plains with 50s in the southeast. A pretty nice recovery from that little uh, blast of cooler wet weather we had yesterday. 30 and 40s in the high country for most places. Frisco still chilly, 24 degrees. It's quite cloudy up that way. 52 in Grand Junction and 49 in Durango. One of the bigger snowfall totals along the front range in Cold Creek Canyon. Six and a half inches of much needed moisture. Two inches out in northwestern Elbert County. That was the perfect snow. It's already melting away, but it not brought a nice drink of water to the landscape. That low pressure that brought that weather is sitting off to our east. It will continue to pull away. We have northwestern flow behind it. A little bit of moisture getting caught up in there, plus some evaporation from the snowfall yesterday. As that low pulls away, we'll see our uh, winds in the atmosphere turn more westerly as we go into the weekend. And what this will mean is occasional light mountain snow showers off and on due to the terrain. Uh, on the east side of the mountains here in Denver, we'll just see some occasional clouds passing through and seasonal temperatures as we roll into the holiday weekend. Here's a radar right now and some light showers here on the northeastern plains, maybe even mixing with snow along the Wyoming state line. Some of this not reaching the ground. Keyword very light. I don't think it will become as widespread and heavy as it was yesterday, but you may get a quick passing shower here on future cash. You can see those kind of rolling through real quick this afternoon. We'll have partly cloudy skies overnight and through the day tomorrow. Mostly dry Friday, maybe a stray mountain snow shower here or there, but mostly a dry day on the way with warming temperatures. We'll be into the 50s today for most locations along and east of I-25, some 60s in the southeast, 30s and 40s up high with a little bit more cloud cover, 50s to low 60s on the western slope. Looking ahead to Easter right now, we think it's going to be a mostly cloudy start with light wind, but not too bad out there. Temperatures hovering around freezing for sunrise service. Five day forecast if it will come up. Doesn't want to advance on the computer there, Alan. I'm not sure why, um, oh. <laughs> but it is a, a pretty uneventful five day forecast. I can tell you that. I like that uh, picture. Yeah, you that know? was a nice picture. Um, the five day forecast just features some slightly warming temperatures. No mm. major storms coming our way. Just a few mountain snow showers here and there. Yeah, it's great to see the sunrise yes. pictures. Thanks, Chris. Talk sure. about crashing a 